Alright, so first I'm going to start off this video with, I know I have not posted stuff in a long time. It's been about six days, I'm coming on a week, of me not posting any content. Just because, mainly, I was at the boat show, I didn't vlog, because I was just about wanting to left my camera bag at home. I know it's a shocker that I would do that. And then, I have just haven't fished lately at all. I've been really busy with working at the boat show and doing stuff at home. But um, today I'm taking my little boat out. Uh, nothing too special. It's a, Monday, it's a Tuesday after school. I'm doing full-on fall patterns. I'm throwing a chatterbait and a lipless crankbait. And I also have my panfish rod with a little lay bait just to see if I could maybe jig up a few crappy. This lighting's really crappy. Um, but I guess we'll see what this day brings us. I have about a couple hours of fish once I get out there. And I hopefully I'll get into something productive. But um, what I'm doing right now, I'm probably going to go fish the point since my crappy rod is with my mother. I forgot my rod holders. So, I guess we'll see what this day brings us. Hopefully something good. Alright guys. I got like no battery. Which is just lovely. Absolutely terrific for this uh, little excursion of mine. So, may not be filming all my hookups. I find an actual pattern maybe. I'll film hook for hookups, but... It's just not gonna happen today, so I apologize for that in advance. This was so dope, he hit it right at the boat. I'm fishing just the outskirts of this point. I decided to pick up the lipless crankbait. This guy literally hit it right at the boat. That is hilarious. I watched, I thought I thought it was actually a clump of weed the first time, when he first hit it, when he first came up behind it. Sweet. Lipless cranking, baby. I'm so, I'm so pumped. That fish came up right on the outskirts of that grass. Do I really not have any space? No, never mind. Getting them on the power fishing. This is my first power fishing fish in a long time. Come on the little Rapala wrap trap. Little bass. These guys are getting fat. Getting fat for the winter. Let's get some more. So that fish ate it right, right at the side of the boat. And I'm only in about two and a half, three feet of water right now. So. And now every clump of weed I hook, I think I'm gonna think it's a fish now. But I'm just throwing this on my Shakespeare ugly stick. Uh, I had a spin cast on here a while ago. It's a good, good like liveless stick. It's a good all-around stick. It's a medium action. And uh, I'm just throwing it on the edge of some dying grass. Oh, I see the grass in the water. And this audio is garbage, so I really apologize for that. And it's just a little Rapala. I think it's a sexy crawl, or sexy shag color. There's no shad in this lake, but okay. If, 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 if there's no shad in your lake, still throw shad patterns because the fish will definitely eat it. So um, that's just my little tip for now. So I'm just gonna keep grinding over here on this little little point right here. Maybe hit a couple other little secondary points. And, uh, see what we can make happen here. I'm actually kind of confident now since I got that little one fish under my belt. So I guess we'll see. But I think it might be a good good little afternoon bite. All right, one more little tip. Opposed to a square bill, which I had tied on this rod previously, I like to throw a rattle trap. One, I like to use bright colors because it's a sunny day. If it were a cloudy day, I'd go a little, be a little bit more lenient, but I want to use a nice flashy color when it's sunny. It really stands out. And second, I chose this rattle trap because opposed to a square bill, it has a lot more noise. And on this windy day, you're going to want all the noise you can get in the, under the water. So. Guys, I think that, might, that guy might be, nah, he's power fishing, but um, he's fishing a little bit more out. I guess we'll see what this day brings us. Again, I'm actually kind of confident now, so I may keep the camera rolling, but, you know, probably not. But this is crazy. Like, literally, only a couple feet of water that fish came from, and I thought it was some weed, but you never know out here. So, let's see if we can get some more. And I actually kind of like these rods that are a little bit, um, they don't have such a long butt. Cause this is easier to cast with one hand in a kayak. Like I can just, just like, give them a nice little, little way. I'm not doing like 50 yard casts or anything, but just getting it out far enough. And then a kayak so quiet, I can just uh, creep up on these fish, which is what I love about kayak fishing. And this is why, like, I, if I didn't have a Hobie today, I could not, not be doing what I'm doing right now, fishing in the wind. Like if I was on like a, well, if I don't, if I didn't have a pedal drive, I guess native from wilderness and old town all have other so, um, sources of propulsion. But just 
just keeping my nose into the wind and just pedal I'm constantly pedaling to keep myself in position so that's a little tip for you guys and uh see if we can get into something how you gotta be kidding me I was just about to go up to the docks and this guy's going oh, of course but I've rigged up this overkill drop shot it's like a 2-0 hook which maybe some of you use for drop shotting but it's too heavy for me a little leader and a little bullet weight and I literally found this like little pack of drop shot worms there's like two left in my in the bottom of my gear crate so i don't really want to be drop shotting this time of year but i'm just gonna try to uh try to get one on the dock with it maybe i will maybe i won't we'll see still a lot of weed here so probably in the house go maryland bass fishing go check out his channel i'll link it up in the up in the cards uh jack spicer seems like a nice kid i haven't fished with him yet but uh he's he caught like a three and a half off here or he or his friend did. One of them did. And caught it off the dock. This one is looking pretty unfishable. So let's try the one other one. That's where he caught it. So maybe it's, that one's a little bit more fishable. These pieces of fish. These pieces of dead fish floating in the water. I don't get it. I don't know where the heck they're, where they're coming from. I wish I had a punching skirt. Definitely punch this. There's gotta be some fish under this mat. If I had like one ounce leads or something, one ounce tungsten, totally flip this mat. Looks pretty awesome. There's gotta be something under this mat. You know, I'm not really using the right, the right gear, but uh. Maybe, maybe get on. God, I wish I had punching stuff. Don't want to eat this. God, that was a fish. There's one. Came out from under that mat. I thought I felt something munching on it. So, drop shot is still prevailing, even this late in the year. <laughs> I thought that was a fish. It's a little one, but still, still definitely a, definitely a fish. And I also like them big, but I just like fish in general. That's what that's what I'm trying to catch here. Let's see if we can get another one off here. Way up under there. Oh, he's cool. Is that already a fish? <laughs> Did he choke it? He hit it on the fall. I stuck it way under the dock. But <laughs> another little one. Okay, so I'm making my way back. Sun's starting to drop. I'm just start to lip us a little bit more. Let's see what I can make do. Oh, check in later if I can actually catch anything or not. All right, guys. Um, I'm just throwing. I'm just throwing this jig right here with twin tail drop. A little flipping jig. Just throwing it around this little bank. Don't know why, but uh, my mom. I just got word of my mom's on her way. Uh, I guess you saw my face in this episode. You're just not looking at my legs and my arms. But, um, uh, I think this is going to conclude my little session for today. Caught three. How many did I catch? Three or four? I think three. But whatever. Uh, figured out, um, uh, figured out a couple fall patterns. Drop shot's not really a fall pattern. But, um, uh, got one on the lipless. I wish I would have got the strike on camera, but I wasn't sure how long it would take for me to get a fish. And I didn't have that much battery. And I'm almost out now, so I better make this short and sweet. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry there hasn't been a video up lately. I might try to get this video up tonight. Um, or I might just have to upload on an odd number day. It's going to drive me nuts. But um, I, I, I want to get this video out. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I think I'm at like 171 subs right now. Pretty crazy. Um, ugh. Oh, nice cast there. Just got the, no, I didn't get the one, but, but I'm about 171 subs. I haven't checked lately. But um, 
Uh, I'm really grateful for you guys, and uh, just as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.